Hey guys, Brian with Rep Reviews for you, and today I'm just going to make a short little video about a couple hats that I got off of AliExpress. I'll put a link in the description to each of these because these are from different sellers. <clears throat> um, this Patriot hat, pretty good. Um, only problem looking at the logo really is that this seems to be too low. It should kind of be up a little more centered, I guess, in the hat. Um, in terms of stitching, the stitching's really good. Um, the coloring looks good. There's no, you know, missing links in any of the letters. The blues kind of that reflective look to it. There was some cross stitching in here um, between some of the letters, but I either used clippers and clipped those off, or I just took a little sharpie and penned it in. Um, there's one little one here that's messed up. It's just sloppy, I guess. Um, the actual logo here on the sticker is like super reflective. Um, and obviously the real ones aren't that reflective. Um, what are you gonna do? Um, the actual brim is nice. This is a pretty flat brim from what I've gotten from AliExpress. They're usually not very flat, they're kind of flimsy and stuff, so that's good. There's no, you know, stitching errors like where the hat actually meets the brim or anything. Um, the throwback logo is pretty on point. Um, these, even on the Mitchell Ness axis, they don't, they don't always look the best. They're all kind of different. Um, but this one looks good. Uh, underneath you have this bandana pattern, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but it's actually like almost like painted on. It's not a print or anything like that. So from a distance, I mean, it looks fine to me. And then you've got the NFL logo here. Moving on to the inside, it looks pretty good from the looks of it. The stitching here is, you know, just haphazardly stitched, just not straight across. And then the NFL shield, you know, isn't quite the best, but again, that's on the inside. The Mitchell Ness tag looks good, except the stitching again, they just kind of haphazardly stitched it in. It's not perfectly parallel to the other stitching on the top. Again, that's on the inside. And then this Mitchell and Ness logo on the back just has, um, I guess you would just call that excess from the template that they stitched in the back part on. Which, if you look at the back, this actual Mitchell and Ness logo looks really good. Um, there was a couple cross stitchings between the and sign and the N and I did clip those with toenail clippers, and then I kind of used a Sharpie on what was remaining. But overall for, I think this was $10, pretty good. Uh, then this Angel's hat here is, um, it's pretty good as well. Um, this logo here is actually, I mean, it's good. But then you have this little gap here, which is just, you know, it shouldn't have made it out, but they sent it anyway. And then you have the 59, the, I guess it's just 950 on this one. This is just faded. Like the printer was running out of ink or something. The underneath on the brim, it has this kind of Aztec pattern, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it also has the MLB sticker here. And then on the side here you have the American logo, which has a bunch of cross stitching. Just here, here, all through here. From a distance, ah, not a big deal. I don't think most people would even notice that. Um, on the inside you've got 
you know, new era, you've got some excess stitching. I mean, fabric, I guess you would call it, on this American logo, some loose threads. Here's the new era logo here. Again, just haphazardly stitched in. But yeah, that's it for this one. This brim is kind of wonky. I don't really know how best to describe this, but it looks like it needs to sit under a bookcase for a while just to get it flat. But yeah, these are two pickups from AliExpress. Again, I'll put the links in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, funny story, I, when I ordered this, I also ordered this hat and it's just beyond fucked. I don't know how else to put it, but it looks, yeah. Um, so obviously this one I told them and made a dispute and they refunded me the money for this hat. So shout out to them, I guess, cause they're actually, you know, looking out for people who are buying it, but they shouldn't have sent it in the first place. You can see the cross stitching there. But the inside, I mean, it's the same, same story. Yeah, so this is a piece of trash. But anyway, these, these two hats are pretty good. But these snapbacks, you really gotta take a close look at the pictures because you, you never know what you're gonna get, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.